A common theme I find horrifying in Western culture today is the self-accusation and the fatal obsession with guilt of the West's European past. It is as though our children are born into original sin, born with the burdens of their ancestors' crimes on their bloody hands. I see today's political rhetoric is rife with this. War guilt, slavery guilt, colonisation guilt, invasion guilt, genocide guilt, theft guilt, holocaust guilt. Don't get me wrong, I think it's necessary that we condemn evil actions of the past. This historical humility can be healthy. Most nations share a wretched history of oppressing another group. History is full of horrifying accounts of minorities being tortured, enslaved and mistreated by the majority. The winners persecute the losers. But for me, it's quite evident that Western European nations almost welcome this sense of shame. They desire it. Let me give some examples. In Australia, the way we're taught about the past involves learning that our ancestors were genocidal thieves. Whether they were or not is not my point. Terrible things have been done to the Aboriginal culture. There's no denying that. But for how long must white Australians say sorry for crimes that they and not even their parents' generation had any part in? I myself never stole a child. I never took land from an Aboriginal tribe. Both victims and perpetrators have passed. Yet, it is almost considered racist and unsympathetic to not somehow atone for my ancestors' past actions. I have a hereditary sin that cannot be shaken. In America, Columbus was once celebrated for his heroic seafaring ventures and courage, but now is seen as a symbol of hate, genocide and bloody European colonisation. He has become a cultural villain from successful explorer to genocidist. For how many decades more will presidents continue to apologise for slavery? They act like they were the first to practise it. There are even demands for some African Americans to be paid reparations for the treatment of their ancestors by the ancestors of white Americans. Germany teach the mistakes of their past in a lot of depth, but for how long will this deep sense of guilt and wretchedness go on? For how many generations will Germans apologise for the crimes of their genocidal great-great-great-grandparents? The problem with this deep entrenched guilt regarding one's culture is that white Europeans will believe that they are so inherently cruel, murderous and evil that they cannot believe that they can do any good. This is truly sinister. We will constantly feel the weight of self-loathing, the burden and toxicity of shame. This constant blame game and self-lacerating leaves one with a sense of hopelessness for the future. It supposes that you are only moral if you live in a perpetual state of remorse. As philosopher Pascal Bruckner calls it, historical guilt has become a moral intoxicant. Many non-European countries are the extreme opposite. They do not even talk about their bloody past. This is also just as dangerous. In Turkey today, if you discuss the Armenian genocide that the Ottoman Turks were responsible for, you will find yourself locked up. Colonisation was practised worldwide and long before Europeans did so in the 15th century. No Middle Eastern government has ever apologised for the sacking of Baghdad. The Russian government did not punish their communist leaders after the Soviet Union collapsed. Western Europeans, I urge you to stop judging yourselves by your history's lowest moments. 